Hello friends. In the previous video, we have seen bitwise operators ka explanation. We have seen how AND, OR and XOR works on bitwise numbers. Right. So, let's try implementing it. It is very simple. This video helps you to understand the syntax and execution way of implementing the bitwise operators. Same, in order to do that, I have to write print directly. What is that I want to print? I have to print now. Let's say 8 anded with 12. And is represented with ampersand. Right, that's it. So, this is going to perform the bitwise operation where the bitwise operator is fine. So, in the previous video, we have seen in a table where when 8 gets ended with 12, right? So, what was the answer that you got in the previous video? It's 8. Okay. Let's verify whether we get that or not. Correct. We have got the 8 as an answer. Similarly, okay, so let's try with one more. If you remember, we had uh, we had taken a second example where I was trying to do with F and E, right? So when I say F, F is the number which is represented in hexadecimal number system, right? So whenever we are using hexadecimal number systems, if I write directly F and E, okay, say if I directly write F and E. Okay, how should the system get to know that uh, it is represented in a hexadecimal number? So, in order to differentiate that, so I will write 0, 0, x, f, and 0, x, e. That means when I write 0, x, and 0, 0, x before f and 0, x before e, that means this prefixes will tell that system that the numbers are represented in hexadecimal number system. Right. So, when I hang them, I get 14. Right. So, you can verify that from the previous video where we had answered this. I had shown you the logic of how do you and F and E. Right. So, similarly, we can try out the operations of or and x or as well. First, let me try with or. Okay, so if you remember in the previous video, we had shown you the or operation 8 when or with 12, you got the answer as 12. Yes, when you or it with e, you must get 15. Let's see whether we are getting that or not. So, it's 12 and 15. So, similarly, I will repeat now the same operations using in, instead of OR, I will do it for XOR. XOR ka symbol hai like this. Right. So, when I execute this, so 8 XOR with 12, expected answer is 4. And if XOR with E, expected answer is 1. You can refer to the explanation in the previous video in case if you have not understood how you get 4 and 1. Right. So, this is how we implement bitwise operators which are AND or XOR. We are still left out with few more bitwise operators which we will see in the next video. Thank you.